Okay, so we can see this from a graph actually. If we understand what the absolute value graph looks like, uh, then you get a sense that if I draw y equals absolute value of x plus 5, okay, um, when x equals to negative 5, we should get this sort of graph here. Okay, then if we want the x plus 5 absolute value to be greater than 8, we draw on y equals 8 here, and the actual solutions we want are here onwards and here downwards. Okay, so we need to be thinking of that graph when we get the final solutions. Down here, we just write out the inequality once and then a second time with a negative. Here we subtract 5 from both sides. x is greater than 3. That is indeed this section here. And on this side, times both sides by negative 1, x plus 5 and negative 8 here, but the times by negative 1 switches the sign round. Okay? And then if we subtract 5, x is less than negative 13. So in fact, that corresponds to the negative 13 here. And as you can see, there are two separate sections on the number line so therefore we write it as two separate inequalities we don't group them together in a single inequality because it's two separate inequalities